man it's your boy unseen coming at y'all with another reaction video so today bruh today we reacting to the jacka see it through featuring k1 and ampicino i actually bro i'm gonna come clean with y'all straight up man i know the jacka is a bay area legend i'm from the bay area this is my hometown and shit i'm gonna keep it real i ain't heard i ain't not heard one song from the jacket i know he passed away so rest in peace man and i know he was he was pretty big in like the 90s 2000s so i, I i'm like i'm expecting some hyphy i don't know if it's too hyphy or if it's like some woke shit because i know back in uh east oakland and back in the 90s there was uh groups like souls of mischief you know the hieroglyphics those guys like that who were we we're talking that real shit, so we only gonna find out without getting into it. And if you guys don't know, like my history with rap music, I made a video on that just to get y'all up to speed on where I like my knowledge of rap. So before this video gets started, man, if you guys could drop a like, comment, subscribe for more, comment down below what you want me to react to after this video, I would really appreciate it, man. Also, shout out my boy Icy Isaac, my guy Isaac, for you know requesting this and you know giving me something to react to that's what i mean is put me on y'all y'all gotta put me on man i would really appreciate it let's get into the video i do have the lyrics pulled up on the screen this time because i ain't never heard this song once in my life so it's the first reaction <laughs> so i ain't trying to miss nothing you feel me it's my first song from the jacka so let's go man let's get it okay well i can hear that beat coming in already Hey yo! Nah, nah, nah. If this, I knew it, bro. This is some shit the cruise to. I can tell, man. Oh man, that's why I love Bay, like Bay Area. As much as I, as much as I'm an East Coast rap fan, Bay Area rap, they got that, they got that groove on lock, bro. I'm, I'm telling y'all, man. This is why, like, I can always, I like going back to Bay Area. Is because they got this groove, man. Let's, let's keep vibing with it, though. I know he about to come in with a verse, so man, that hook is actually really good, man. I, that's just a chill hook, man. That's there's nothing more to it. It's a chill hook. It's it's very reminiscent of just a laid back '90s sound, man. And I don't know, I don't know if this song came out in the '90s, but it's definitely got that vibe to it. And the Jacka, man. If this is the Jacka, oh man, I'm in for something, bro. If this is what I'm getting put onto from the Jacka, I'm in for something. As far as the lyrics go, since there is no video, we, we focusing on lyrics. I mean, it seems like it's a ambitious type chorus, like like telling you to see it through, don't give up, persevere. Um, there was a, that was a pretty long intro. Uh, he had a little intro where it was like a spoken word, but in terms of the hook that we heard and the vibes that was going through us, man. He said, uh, I set up a plan and then I seen it through. I gave you the chance because I believe in you no matter how hard it gets, see it through. That's ultimate motivation right there. That's that's pure motivation, pure ambition. Shout out to Jacka for that, man. It's it's a little, I mean, it's a, it's a hook, man. So I ain't, I ain't gonna look into it too deep, but let's get into this verse. Let's go. Mom's gone, pops his arm in a belt. Me, I'm too for now, hard wondering why we hate ourselves. Drugs brought us all down. Too late to save myself. Grandma stress kicked out of school. I can't behave myself. Mm. Yo, I mean, the lyrics, bro. These lyrics are he's telling a story. He's telling his life story, man. He's telling he's he's really speaking facts. And as much as this, like, it, it gives me this like cruising vibe, but the lyrics obviously don't. The lyrics are very, very um graphic and very like uh are very like touchy that's why it's like it's not that i want to like vibe to it it's it's a vibe but man these lyrics he's already telling his story saying like mom's gone like i'm in juvenile hall wondering why we hate ourselves how much you know drugs brought us down like he he's really pondering some sh some deep shit that he he had to experience and man dude and this is I mean, he from Oakland, man. This is this is Oakland. This is Bay Area. Like this is that's this is that lifestyle, man. It's not a it's not a it's not a fun lifestyle to live. Let's keep going. 
school, I made the bed, I slept. Wonder if my little one's cool, cause now I never check. Now I pray God till we get right, then how soon we forget. Here I am, thousands of rap fans loving the jack. Hey. Train got me insane, and now I'm loving back. These gems stem from real pain, they don't deserve the shit. Talk to so him. Oh my God. Yo, 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 yo. What did this man just say? He talking some deep shit, bro. He really talking about that deep shit. He talking about, I think he was talking about Coke. He said, here I am, thousands of rap fans loving the Jack. Coke Drain got me insane and I don't love him back. Yo. He's saying that that cocaine, that cocaina, that shit getting to him. He don't love him back. He, like, he's saying these gems stem from real pain. Like, the figure of expression that I get is where it's like the diamonds are made under pressure. He said these gems stem from real pain. That's that's really deep, man. He's saying all the knowledge that he's giving you stems from the shit that he had to go through. That's real. That's as real as it gets. Jacka, bro, you real for that. I feel you. Let's keep going. In the game, you never heard of it. Should be the judge and the witness because I murdered it. Young lads wanna be rappers, so I give them a chance. Okay. I set up a plan and then I seen it through. I gave you a chance because I believe in you. Uh, that's so real, man. He's 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 talking real shit. He's doing it in such a nonchalant, like like calm, collected way to where it's like you just wanna you want to vibe to it, but he at the same time he really saying some shit to see it through, to 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 see past the bullshit that like you may be going through in your life, man. And we haven't even gotten into we haven't even gotten into the fucking verses from the next two artists, man. K one next up, but yeah, man, I love that chorus. That chorus is that chorus is amazing, dude. That that chorus from the Jacka. I ain't know. I, I just thought the Jacka would be like a more rap heavy dude. But hey, man, that chorus, that chorus, something different. That should hit different. Also, man, the instrumental, the beat in this song is, it's just so, it's a little slow down. It just reminds me of like a too short type beat. It reminds me of a Bay Area, like little chopped, slow down beat with, with, you know, the synths in the back, like the little like horns. That's classic Bay Area for you right there, man. That's that's what I love to hear. That's the this is the shit that made me fall in love with the Bay Area sound. I've never it's not that I don't like the Bay Area sound, it's just I like other sounds a lot more, but this shit is just as good, man. It's it's a different type of vibe it gets you in. East Coast rap can't give you this vibe. That's why I like this vibe. You you need the balance. You need a balance. That's what, that's what it's all about, man. K1. Let's get into it, man. Shit, I really do. I can't tell you what it's all. Can't incriminate myself. Who gon' write me if I'm gone? Cop the eight, we gon' write my wrongs. I'm trying to do the right thing. Really? Gotta stay on my grind because I'm a boss, a young king. Yes, sir. Gotta stay on my grind because I'm a boss, a young king. Talk that talk. That's K1 for you right there, man. This is my first K1 song. K1... I'm already I'm already liking what you're saying, man. First, the first two lines in this verse, though, I ain't gonna skip past those first two lines. He says, "Shit, shit, I really can't do. Shit, I really do can't tell you in a song. Can't incriminate myself. Who gonna write me if I'm gone?" He's saying he's done some fucked up shit, and he can't, bro. He can't let us know what he's done. He he ain't trying to he ain't trying to incriminate himself. He ain't trying to get himself locked up. And he's having like an inner monologue with himself. He's like talking to himself. He's He's asking really big questions, saying, who going to write me if I'm gone? Can't incriminate myself. Like, he's really, like, thinking. Of, he's trying to think ahead in terms of um, what his lyrics, like, putting his lyrics out there. Man, dude. K1, fuck with you. I'm already fucking with it. Let's keep going. Busting four twenties out the judge. Bust that girl down. Can't lie, I get a buzz. Okay. Period in that thing in the he said, busting 420s out the judge, bust that girl down, can't lie, I get a buzz. He talking 420s out the judge, 420 or 420, 20 fucking, like in terms of guns and shit, 420 in terms of weed. He said weed, and then the next line, bust that girl down, can't lie, I get a buzz, get a buzz, like alcohol, buzz, weed and alcohol. That's, that's slick, okay. Young niggas making money like doctors, over the stove, whipping slight off of the rocker. 
game that made my heart cold as hell. Commissary and some mail to my niggas up in jail for real. Okay. 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 That was, that was smooth, bro. He flowing on that bitch. K1, you flowing on that bitch. I, I fuck with you, man. That was, that, was, that, was, that was a little smooth little flows. And while he's doing it, this, see, as much as I want to pay attention to these lyrics and, and dissect these lyrics and, and really listen to his story and all of these rapper stories, this shit just gives me the vibe that I want to cruise down the street to, bro. I don't know why. Like, I, I'm not I'm not trying to, like, discredit their lyrics or anything, but, man, this 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 production and just the flow that they're giving, the cadence they're using, that's what's giving me that that feeling of, of just wanting to, like, cruise and not really dissect and get into lyrics as much. But these dudes really talking that real shit. Talking about, like, some shit, like, they got homies in jail, like, they're trying to like they're dealing with the courts and shit they're talking about their come up bro and and that you can't you can't just like gloss over that in this song man is they're really talking that real shit this is that bay area shit for you and pacino let's go okay just make sure you see it through I'm in the kitchen trying to see what a key do it's hard for goons to picture this money we was breezing through I hop out the bed Hey, Ampacino, the first the first thing that catches my ear here in Ampacino for the first time is is his is is definitely the voice, man. The voice is definitely something different. He got that like lower like kind of grit to him, and that's what I like, man. I like the little grit, like the little raw sound. But man, his lyrics, we pump in snow cuz I believe in you. He got the go, just make sure you see it through. Sound like he talking that drug talk in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen trying to see what a key will do. I think they talking that coke talk, bro. I don't know. I mean, that's how you know I don't I don't fuck with that shit. But they painting pictures for y'all. They painting pictures for y'all, man. Let's keep going. How in the tech every day I wake up, I feel closer to death. Every time I go to cop, I'm holding my breath. I know any day they can knock me. It's a war in the jets. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bar right there. I think he just said, "Yo, he just said that." Nah, 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 nah. That's that's some clever shit, Aunt Pacino. I see you on that, bro. He said, "Every day I wake up, I feel closer to death. Every time I go cop, I'm holding my breath." I don't think y'all get. Do y'all get that, man? Do y'all get it? Let me know if y'all caught that bar. If you if you ain't caught that bar yet. <sighs> Let me let me let me let me talk to you real quick. Let me let me talk to him. So every time I go go to cop, I'm holding my breath. And he said before that, every day I wake up, I feel closer to death. That's like the context. I'm setting up the context right here. So the 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 bar is right here. Every time I go to cop, I'm holding my breath. If you know the 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 I think it's the Eric Garner shit, the Eric Garner shit that happened, um, where he got choked out. This man, Ann Pacino, said every time I go to cop, because he got choked out by the cop, bro. Every time I go to cop, I'm holding my breath. That's the whole I can't breathe shit. Rest in peace. That shit fucked up. The cops fucked up for that, bro. But that's a bar that you can't you can't miss because that shit really hits hard, bro. That shit really hits hard with everything in this song. That shit hits hard. And I believe this song actually came out when that shit happened, when when these events were actually occurring. But that's a bar right there, man. I also forgot to mention this last part is when he said, "I went I, every time I go to cop, I'm holding my breath." Just in that line itself, it means like every time I go to cop something, like in in this case, cop drugs or cop weed, I'm holding my breath. Like how you smoking, I'm holding my breath every time I go to cop. Every time you go to cop some product or you you go buy something. That's like the original meaning to that bar. I didn't even get to tell y'all that part, but that's the original meaning. And also saying every time I go to cop, I'm holding my breath because like I'm holding my breath, meaning I don't know what's going to go on. He may be nervous about, you know, the deal he's about to go make or the shit he's about to go cop. He may be nervous about, you know, if it's a setup or if it's a stick up or whatever, man. And Pacino is just too nice with it, bro. And Pacino. <sighs> 
but yeah, man, that was the, those were the uh, like other two meanings to this bar right here. I forgot to let y'all know. Let's keep going, man. And Pacino, you impressing me so far. You impressing me. My mom hoped for the best. She already lost her left breast to cancer. Sitting on the church Jesus. steps, asking God for answers. Oh. Stripped from our real names. Trapped in Babylon. Wish I had a magic wand. This planet I travel on is cursed since birth. My okay 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 he talking that real shit he talking that real shit talk to him i'm and pacino bro you impressing me you impressing me you really i feel the pain in your voice in this one bro he said my lawyer talking crazy my mom hoped for the best she already lost her left breast to cancer sitting on the church steps asking god for answers that's real man that's that's there's nobody in my family that, that got cancer, but I know plenty of people who's who who got to deal with, you know, loved ones with cancer. That shit. That's it's so these lines are those lines were pretty simple, man. But that's not what it's about. It's not about the 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 double meanings. It's not about the lyricism. He's just telling it like it is. That's what I mean. When you tell it like it is, you get your point across. People going to feel that shit. And I felt that. And he said some woke shit for you all right here. He said some woke shit right after that. He said, stripped from our real names, trapped in Babylon. Wish I had a magic wand. This planet I travel on is cursed since birth. Jesus. <sighs> Y'all gotta wake up, bro. And this is coming from a white person too. This is coming from a white person. White people did, white people stripped strip their names, bro. White people did all this bullshit. If you don't know what Babylon is, we in Babylon right now. It's 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 a war, bro. Babylon, it's the elite, bro. It's 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 this whole system. It's is it's, that's what Babylon is, man. That's some like that's some Rasta shit. That's some shit you hear from Bob Marley. You hear constant mentions of Babylon, like we in Babylon. And I feel for you know my minorities out there, bro, because it's really Babylon. Like it's it's a it's a system set up for y'all to fail, man. That's what I mean. Wish I had a, and he said, and Pacino right after he said, wish I had a magic wand because he want to get rid of this shit. He want a magic wand to get rid of this shit. That's what he want to get rid of Babylon. Babylon, luckily Babylon starting to crumble, man. This system starting to crumble on some woke shit, on some fucking 47 shit, bro. This system starting to crumble. Thank you for putting me onto this song, Isaac, bro. I fuck with you for that. <laughs> They, they, he really talking that woke shit. Pacino, so far, Ed Pacino impressed me the most. I'm not. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Ed Pacino might might take it. Let's get back into the to the last few bars though. I think there's a few more. Hooters like the Amazon, gorillas and orangutans do business with hammers on. He said, "My hood is like the Amazon. Gorillas and orangutans do business with hammers on." He said. He's saying my hood is like the Amazon. My my hood is like it's like a jungle out there. It's like a rainforest. It's it, it's it's survival of the fittest. Gorillas and orangutans do business with hammers on. He's saying like they ruthless. The people ruthless there. Like that that's the vibe I'm getting. He's saying they ruthless in their hood. The hood is like the Amazon. It's it's like a survival of the fittest. Like natural selection type shit. Well, that was a really clever metaphor. That's a really clever metaphor. I like that one, man. I think if there was a, a video for this, I think it would really do do the song justice. I think it would really help get the point across even more. But wow, what a song, bro! What a song! I really enjoyed this song. Um, that was this is my first song ever from the Jacka and also K One and Aunt Pacino. So, man, Bay Area. Luckily, luckily I can vibe with this Bay Area. I I can't do the the two hyphy type shit. So luckily this was like a good little uh, little balance between the two. But these dudes really talking that real shit. All three of them talking that real shit. They talking about their come up, like seeing the shit that they've had to go through growing up, seeing their family having to deal with, you know, systematic racism, you know, worrying about the drug, the drug and gang life. It's it's rough, dude. This is Oakland. This that's Oakland though. That's the Oakland lifestyle. That's the East Oakland like project lifestyle, man. It sucks though. It sucks that it's that it, it it's that way but it just is man i salute these dudes for telling their story because people like me would never be able to empathize and and really be able to know because we ain't we ain't in those areas i i'm not in those areas man so 
hearing these stories from the Jacka and Aunt Pacino K1, it, it really enlightens you on on the shit that goes goes down in in troubled communities, man. And it, it's sad, bro, but it's it's letting y'all know where the problem is. It, it stems from racism. It stems from systematic corruption. It's all a system. It's Babylon. That's Babylon. That's Babylon for you right there, man. That's Babylon. Like he said, if, if I had a magic wand, Babylon's gone, man. I'd be I'd be hyped to listen to more Jacka. If you guys got more Jacka to put on, fucking let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Let me know whose verse like kind of moved you the most throughout this. If you've heard the song, let me know whose verse really like spoke to you. That chorus, amazing, dude. I love that chorus. It's definitely a great chorus to just chill to and really think about, contemplate life. It's one of those chorus. It's one of those hooks, man. It's one of those hooks to 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 ponder about some shit. And as far as the production goes, classic Bay Area production. I love it, man. I love it. It is perfect. Just cruising, chilling, like vibing, bro. I love it. Yeah, man. That's gonna do it. Appreciate everybody that stuck through the reaction. I fuck with y'all for that heavy, bro. Thank you for everybody that stuck through, man. If you guys like the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe for more. Comment down below what you want to react to after this video, man. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, man, it's been your boy Unseen. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.